everybody. Welcome to the Ron Line Report. Today's guest was a big surprise at the last weekend in Tampa. We had the Tampa Pro event, but we also had along with that the NPC Tampa Extravaganza. And the winner was this young man, only 23 years old, in his very first competition. He won the overall bodybuilding, the overall classic physique. Uh, he became the shortest man in the history of the NPC, which goes back to 1982, to win an overall title. Please welcome, from the Orlando area, Hector Amador. How are you, Hector? Good, good. How are you? And you're, he is joined by uh, his sponsor, Tomo Marjanovic of Aspire Rejuvenation, which is Aspire, Aspire Rejuvenation, all one word on IG, and his coach, Andrew Machado. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having us, Ron. Uh, so, first of all, Hector, I'm going to start with you because you have a great story to tell. You were not supposed to be a bodybuilder. You weren't supposed to be any type of athlete. When you were born, what were the doctors saying to your to your mom about uh, your future? Uh, the doctor um, declared you have dysplasia skeletal. It's one they say in your bones, especially in your columns, but you cannot make exercise, um, severe scoliosis. It's like a, they compare like a crystal bones. Uh, supposed to be in wheelchair, a lot of surgery, also so many years in the back. They want to do a surgery back, put, put straight my back and also my leg because it's like a BJ. Yeah. Uh, in those surgery, in those, I see they doing me. I gotta be in wheelchair and look at my exercise, nothing. Um, I'm here for America. Girl. That's I can only tell, and also. I put all my force doing exercise. My mom said, no, Gabriel, you know, I'm going to do surgery on you. I don't want to see you in, in, one, in one chair. I prefer looking you like this. And I started doing my research, looking for therapy exercise in the internet, uh, sport medicine, watching YouTube. Yeah, I find all those exercises at home. Um, I started looking for um, motivation video for workout, like Arnold, speech. And when I saw him, that gave me a motivation to start doing the world of bodybuilding. And so many people laughed at me doing bowling on school, take me picture. Uh, also teachers, not being myself, they wanted me to do a sport hmm. uh, for my disease. And only one in high school gave me the chance on Olympic way. And then I, I win three championships uh, national in Puerto Rico. Um, then I did a transition for um, bodybuilding. Take me like a 10 years, yeah, for for do my first, almost my first show. Yeah. Uh, now I'm here. That's like okay. it. So you were, uh, you did weightlifting in Puerto Rico? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Because you've been here uh, in the U.S. since 2014, correct? So that would have, you would have only been, uh, geez, how old were you when you left Puerto Rico? Um, I have 18, so I have 23 now. Oh. I have four years now to five. Okay, cool. Uh, Tomo, how did you how did you find out about this amazing young man? So I actually know uh, Andrew Machado from the area. So we work out of the same gyms. I know him as a trainer and a coach. And I was contacted, and they wanted me to basically meet Hector. So I picked the Saturday that I was free, and I just you know I was like, all right, yeah, I'll come see him. And they wanted me to sponsor him for a show, maybe like next year. Yeah. So, you know, I'm like, all right, let me see him. I get in the, I get in there. We start talking, he's training and I'm like, all right, let me see him pose. Let me see what he's got. Yeah. So he puts on a posing routine that was, you know, I mean, something like from Lee Labrada from the early wow. 90s. Hmm. And he wow. does a posing routine right in the middle of the gym. And I'm looking at his coach <laughs> and I said, I, say, I, told you. I say, can he be ready in a week? Wow. Because this <laughs> Saturday, this is the weekend before the Tampa Pro. Wow. So, can he be ready in a week? They both look at each other, they kind of smile, and they say, it's Yeah. So, I immediately text Tim Gardner. And I'm like, I asked him, I said, Is there a way that we can get a, a late entry into NPC? He's like, Actually, they're still open. We can still take them till the day before. Oh. I paid for his NPC card, I paid for his entry, and I put him in all the categories that he asked for. And, you know, he was like, all right, I'm not going to disappoint you. This is my chance. This is my dream. And, you know, the rest is history. He goes in and wins the overall in classic <laughs> physique and bodybuilding. Wow. So, Hector, did you, were you planning, did you prepare for Tampa or did you just jump in sort of last minute? No, it's 15. 
Yeah, he was he was planning for Florida State if he can get a sponsor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. would have been two weeks. It would have been two weeks. It yeah. is two weeks, but you're not going to do it now because you already won this. Um, but uh, Hector, who are, who are your inspirations? Your favorite bodybuilders that that. Uh, I bunch of them, but especially in the 80, 90, um, uh, and 70 also, but I say both parties and, and Lily rather. Yeah, I, I, they were the ones that I love so much, those, those two bodybuilding, because they post beautiful. Um, for me, it's the best poster, the best symmetry and definition. Um, they are the quality muscles. So I say I want to read this, that era I, I, again in this, on this time. Yeah. And the same posing because I, I love it. I, I feel comfortable doing that that one that way. Yeah, because a lot of bodybuilders today don't put the time and effort into posing. Whereas back in the old days, 70s, 80s, into the 90s, they were all masters. They were all excellent posers. They put the work in. Did you spend a lot of time practicing your posing? Yeah, at home, the music, when I drive in, I put my headset, I hear the music, see the video, try to figure out how they pose. And I can I study. How would they pose in? I practice at home, the mirror with my coach, um, fix things, how to squeeze, you know, all that stuff, how to smile, squeeze the serratos, the bag, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew, when did you start working with Hector? You know, how how did you guys get get uh, together working? Yeah, so what happened, uh, when the old gym shut down and playing all over the United States, I was training in a French gym called uh, Dynamic Gym. It's actually a boxing gym. Hmm. I do jiu jitsu. I was training over there, and one day somebody told him about the gym, and he walked to the gym. And I looked, I was like, oh my God, look at this kid's body. Hmm. And I'm lifting some crazy weights. I'm looking now, and he's totally comfortable. And we start talking, I approach him, and he told me he want to compete. I said, who's helping you? No, oh, nobody. Some guy gave me a diet over here. I look, I'm like, shit, it was bad. <laughs> Let me, let, let me help you. I want to help you. Okay, so after the old gym started open again, I told him to come to the gym where I work, Power Strength, in, in Orlando. He came down, and we started working together, and I never met somebody so drive, like, like, like the way he trains, the way he drives, uh, his training, his, his discipline. I said, this is unbelievable. It's been, I've been doing this for over 25 years. I never see somebody so drove, so disciplined, so uh, hmm. determined the way he is. I, all, all my clients, when he comes talk to me, he's like, Coach, what are you doing here? I say, I just cut your cards. Okay. And they all look at me like, he doesn't even like complain. He doesn't have the emotion. He just say, yeah, okay. Hmm. He just wait. And I say, Lisa, you, you, you don't understand. It's very, it's very important, you know, when you have your mind to get your body. And he has everything, you know. Mm-hmm. His, his strength is there, his mind, this is what he wants. And, and it, it just blew my mind. You now, every time I see him in the gym training, and I told him, I want you to come here to train. And he's like, okay. So he likes the gym. He feels comfortable over there. Plus, I can see him every day. Mm-hmm. And every time I see him, he improved. He, he improved by the day. Yeah. I, did. I mean, this is if considering he's only 23 years old, you know, this is just just the beginning. If the oh. very one one show, you know, uh, so much potential. But Hector, let me ask you about your training a little bit because uh, I imagine it's mostly barbells and dumbbells because most machines are not designed yeah. for people that are very short or very tall. They're they're just designed for average height people. So do you do you shy away from machines and use mostly free weights? I'm well, especially I like free weight because my style of training is like a more 80 and 90 old school, you know, mm-hmm. I don't wear free weight. And also, it's better for me because for my high, I, those machines so big so I cannot reach. But some, some of them I do it, you know, my, I scale them and try to figure out how it can work for me. I don't put excuses that do, it's a step where I use it, that, that's, that's fine. But most of the time I do it free weights. I like more free weight. I do a lot of variations. Uh, angles or rows or all that stuff. I, I prefer more free weight. Give me more um, round muscle quality, just stretch it out more, the fascia muscle. So I love more uh, free weights. Yeah, it's he's, more my- he's definitely an old school trainer. I mean, he's doing two a days 
Wow. Or he's, splitting it, he's splitting it like yeah. Arnold used to back in the day where he's doing, you know, chest in the morning and then he's coming back at night for cardio and doing legs. Yeah. <laughs> is, he, is he doing every body part three times a week like Arnold? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, he he does, he does, yeah. we, we try to, to hit the muscle every 45 days. Okay. Chest yeah. in the morning, at night, quads in the morning, hamstrings at night. He likes to, 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 to speed the routine like that. And he, yeah, he definitely loves to race. Last week, no, actually before the show, he asked me, can you help me do a, do a shoulder press or dumbbells? Can you give me the weight? I said, sure. I walk over there and I saw 80 pound dumbbells. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I said, ah, don't you put your shoulders? Oh, no, no, just put it in my leg. He had no carbs. He put 80 pound dumbbells in here. And I'm like, should I just, no, no, I'm okay. Whoop, whoop. I'm like, okay, I got it. For oh, shoulder right. presses. Okay, let's, let's remind people because I asked you right before we started recording how much Hector weighs at the show 104 pounds okay. so that's 80 that's 160 pounds pressing mm -hmm. overhead how about, uh, how about flat I bet he can do even more on that and that's calories no carbs and I'm like this is crazy <laughs> I, mean, I, I was next to him doing bench press with 90 pound dumbbells he's yeah. going to the press with 80 yeah. um, Hey, you're, you're slacking, Andrew. <laughs> oh, no, kids. They asked me, let's yeah. train together. No, I'm not trying to do it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, Hector, what is your, what's your favorite exercise, and what exercise are you strongest at? Stronger than a squat is my, my favorite uh, exercise because you stimulate your muscular uh, hormone, and that promotes you more gains. Like, um, for, that's for legs. But buy a lot of rap pool because give it all beautiful deep in your back. Um, well, all the one that I love it for shoulder press, dumbbell press, shoulder, dumbbell shoulder press, um, or chest bench press. Those are things I can, I have most of my routine. I include a compound um, movement so they can improve my, my lifting also and still remind my, my muscular hormone and I can grow. So. Uh, yeah, you know, you you have a very balanced physique, but I want to just give special mention. Your leg development was exceptional. You know, we, we don't see a lot of that. Really big thighs. You squat. How much you squat two weeks before the show? Two weeks before the show? Uh, but that's because you put me country out, country out. So, yeah. Uh, 405. 405, and you're not much more than 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah. So that would be like a 200-pound guy squatting 800 pounds. Correct. Right. Good. Good Lord. Okay. Yeah, fuerza. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing here is that when the science said, I cannot do something, I do it. Bro, I had to say this. Some, maybe more, some, most of the people don't agree. But I had to give the glory of God because I am miracle and heal because he, I can explain, my DC don't have um, a cure. So, yeah. I with, with this, oh my God, so I'm here because God he won. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you say that because a lot of people might be angry or bitter that, you know, they were not born like everybody else. But, you know, you've made the best out of it and you're you're thriving. You're you're a, a champion bodybuilder on his way to turning pro and all that. I mean, it's it's pretty damn pretty impressive, pretty inspiring. Um, yeah. Tomo, because, you know, I'm sure you any company is getting hit up constantly by athletes constantly. Everybody wants a sponsor. What really stood out about Hector made him different from all the other people who, uh, who approach you all the time? So mostly the story and his need. You know, a lot of times uh, when bodybuilders, and I get approached by pros, we do sponsor some IFBB pros that are very accomplished, top five athletes. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, most of the time they're looking for money or sponsorship for supplementation or whatever, you know, they need. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that they asked for, the only thing that he asked for was just an opportunity to compete. You know, so when I saw his physique and I heard his story and I looked at him and I said, I, I'm like, I couldn't believe that he's never competed before looking the way he does. You know, it, it was a no brainer for me. I'm like, you know, I, I don't care if I get absolutely nothing out of it. I just want to see this kid get on stage and just blow everybody's socks off because it's exactly what he did in Tampa. Yeah. So, Hector, you know, I bet I, I'm guessing when a lot of the other guys were registering and everything they saw you they probably weren't too worried about you it's like oh well look at him he's a little tiny guy but you know backstage once you took off your your uh sweats and then you started pumping up did you notice people were starting to look worried like uh-oh 
This guy's gonna beat me. I, I don't know. I don't show, but I just, I just very focused when I pumping up and backstage. I don't look around nobody else. I just focus on what I have to do and give it my best. Like I said, uh, um, Tomo, my friend and my coach. I don't want to disappoint any nobody else because they giving me like, the chance now. This is my chance. I don't have, I don't want to disappoint them. They know all the time. I don't want to disappoint you guys. So I just focus. All, all, my, all my mind wasn't when I pump in the posing everything. Um, yeah, I pray with, um, before I go to the stage because I also scared. <laughs> uh, um, but I don't look around. I only ask, ask, I, I hear people say, oh, look at him. They look huge. But I, I, I didn't put attention for that. I just focus what I have to do. Do my... Mm -hmm. My, my my place there. You know, I, I unfortunately I didn't stick around. I, I had to take off. I couldn't watch you on stage, but I saw the videos. And you were very confident up there. I would never have known that was your first contest. You know, it seemed to me like you've been doing this for a while. You know, were you were you comfortable? Because most people are scared out of their minds the first time they're up on that stage with the lights and people staring at them and everything. Were you comfortable? Well, at the beginning, I started, you know, getting scared. But I said, no. I said, I don't want to disappoint anybody. Um, I come into here to give my best. This is my time. And I don't know what happened when I put my face on the stage. Everything go well. So only I like can close myself and hear the music and start posting. That's it. Yeah. I, I put in my mind, nobody look at me. Like it, that's what I did. What I did. <laughs> so Coach Andrew, uh, we have the NPC Nationals coming up. In It's in Florida, isn't it? Always in Florida now? In Miami. Yeah, it's, it's in Miami. In November, it's going to happen as usual, right? Mm -hmm. So is that the plan? Are you thinking bantamweight bodybuilding, classic, uh, both? What are you thinking? Yeah, probably uh, it'll be definitely Miami Nationals. It'll be bantamweight bodybuilding and, of course, Class A. And then for Class Z, if you're going to do it again. Right. And I think he has a big chance, you know, especially in the bantamweight bodybuilding. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I look at the last few years, last three years, all the, the bantamweights, they all look great. But I think he got a big chance. No, so what would the, what would you want to change? What what improvements would you want to make with his physique between now and then? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Everybody can get better. Come on now. No, of course so we asked the judge. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the feedbacks? And they told us don't change anything. Oh, okay. Well, that, there you go. The judge from the judge's mouth. Cool. No. <laughs> yeah. If it could be a little bit tighter, I'm yeah. sure he'll come in a little bit tighter. But, heavier, but nothing would jeopardize his condition. Yeah. Now, I would have made him two pounds heavier, three pounds, but with the same conditioning. I would never jeopardize size for condition. Never. You know? Yeah. And that's good advice for any competitor out there listening. If you don't show up ripped, guys, don't show up. It's You're, you're not going to you're not gonna do well. It's, uh, you can have pretty shape and all kinds of muscle, but you need those cuts, guys. Come on. Um yeah, so uh, Hector, what are your goals? I mean, obviously you're looking at a pro possibly a pro card this year. Where do you want to be in a year from now? How? Where do you want to be as far as your bodybuilding career? For my body career right now, I want to be, if God give me the chance, I hope so, get my pro card. Um, after get a pro card, try to get invitation for Orlando Classic and, and try to be the first small, small bodybuilding Olympia. Yeah, I mean, we had... Uh, I was at the 1993 Olympia, which was 10,000 years ago, and uh, there was a guy from Italy named Flavio Baccianini. I don't know if you remember him. He yeah. was four foot ten, and mm -hmm. um, everybody remembers the most famous pose down. It was him and Lou Ferrigno. Yes. Yeah. Lou Ferrigno was like six five, or I don't know. He's very tall. It was it was uh, one of the one of the most epic moments in bodybuilding history. So I hope you get the chance to get on the Arnold stage, maybe in the Olympia stage. It would be. It'd be very inspirational to a lot of people out there. Um, yeah. Uh, Tomo, what, you know, you signed him up to the company. Are, is there a certain range of products that you think are going to be able to help him in his quest? That you have? So we, uh, we offer the full gambit. We do hormone replacement therapy, obviously. Uh, we do offer some anabolic compounds. Um, you know, everything here is very health centric. So, you know, as, as you and I both know, and as most of the bodybuilding community knows, there's a very unhealthy way to do things and a very healthy way to do things. Um, so we're going to make sure that his health is the number one priority, but we're going to optimize him to his fullest potential. So 
wherever he's lagging, we will do blood work and we will check everything. We'll probably give him some injectable aminos, which seem to be amazing for recovery, mm-hmm. especially that are going into competitions. So our IFBB pros that we have currently love it. Yeah, and if he's training twice a day, my God, he needs something for recovery. Absolutely. <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> yeah, I got to ask you about that, Hector. How do you, are you training like six days a week, twice a day in preparation? Yeah, and six and also seven, almost seven because uh, I almost fight with him because then you have to take him home. I, I have to make him take the after, off. After Sunday, I go to the show with my family and yeah. he, you know, I, I follow my diet and I go to home chain and go to the train, to training. No, I said, and, you, know, you get a rest. <laughs> you got a rest, dude. <laughs> What's the Spanish word? Descansar? Tiene que descansar? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I learned a new phrase uh, because of you, floricua, which Florica. is a Puerto, Puerto Ricans living in Florida. Instead of boricuas, they're floricuas. <laughs> yeah, from Puerto Rico. Yeah, because there's some, there's a few Puerto Ricans in Florida, I believe. Not as many as we have Cubans, of course, like my wife's family. But uh, yeah. So uh, you know, this is a this is a great story that we're all going to be following along. So next up, NPC Nationals. You know, hopefully you pro card there and. Uh, then I would immediately contact the Arnold Classic Committee. Uh, Tomo, maybe you want to hook that up because uh, they're always they're always looking for really cool stories and inspirational people. And I don't think there's anyone more eligible in that category than this guy. You know, that's, this is amazing. Yeah, that's the plan. If and if he uh, if he happens to miss the pro card in uh, the Nationals, I'm thinking of putting him in the Arnold Amateurs. Mm. So All right, yeah. So, Thinking either way, we're going to put them on Arnold stage next year. Right on. Good thinking. Yeah. Um, so Hector, the next the next few months, you know, you're you must be fired up. You must be so. You were motivated before, but you must be even more motivated now because now you have your one show and you won everything, and uh, you have people around the world talking about yeah. you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I assume Andrew, you're going to coach him for the for the nationals. Yes. They'll be there. Sure. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, I want to leave you some ways to follow these these guys. Hector is at Hector underscore motivation. Hector underscore motivation on Instagram. And of course, the company is just Aspire Rejuvenation, all one word. So don't don't throw an extra e in there. You'll never find it. Uh, Aspire Rejuvenation on Instagram. And uh, Andrew, do you have uh, an Instagram you want to plug out there? Yes, Andrew Machado One. Andrew Machado one? Yes. Oh, good. You got that quick because somebody else probably wanted to snap that one up. You're probably not the only Andrew Machado. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Hector, congratulations on your win. You're inspiring a lot of people all over the world right now because, you know, we might think, well, my job is stressful or, well, I got a hangnail or, you know, you've overcome obstacles. You were never supposed to walk. You were not, you were supposed to be in a wheelchair your whole life. You were never supposed to do anything, any type of exercise. And now you're a champion classic physique competitor, champion bodybuilder. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool story. So thank, you know, thanks for, thanks for being an example for, for the world, for all of us. Thank you. So I think I have to say thank you for those guys giving me the opportunity. I'm also believe I saying that those people right now, they see me giving a lot of support in social media. And um, I say, I'm not going to. I'm not going to the sample. Nobody else. I'm gonna do my best for this prep, and hopefully we can get the pro card. God has the last word in everything. So let's see what happens. Buena suerte, mi amigo. Buena suerte. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so you got the MD Latino shirt. That's the man, Kit Sanderson in Miami. What's up, Kit? <laughs> All right, guys. Everybody, thanks for watching Ron Line Report with these gentlemen, especially the one in the middle there. That is Hector Amador future pro and right now he's uh he's he's uh, well on his way to uh being something extraordinary in this sport we'll see you next time thank you Ron. thank you